Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the different types of circles. In Alias, I would say there are three types. So let me show you guys the different uh, differences between them. So the first one is just your regular defer, uh, default circle. So if I just uh, uh, snap it onto the grid like this, you get something like this. Now there's something called, uh, this is something called a periodic, but if you do a non-periodic, you'll get a little bit different CV structure like this. The third one is the one with the rational flags on, which will give you always a perfect circle. So if I just turn on rational flags like this, check those on, and I'm just going to create, go ahead and create a circle like this. This is going to give you a perfect circle every time. And it doesn't really matter which degree you use, you're always going to get the same result. So two degree, Let's say you want to do a three degree like this, always a perfect circle every time. If I were to measure the radius between them, so I'm going to just turn curve curvature on with min, uh, min and max radius on like this, and I cl click on this one, you'll see that there's a little bit of discrepancy between the minimum radius and the maximum. So ranges from 50.004 to 49.994. This one is going to be a little bit more crude because it's only a five degree. And if you see this one, it's always 50 minimum max. So it's always a perfect circle. Okay, that said, however, uh, what is the usage? And oh, actually, before we talk about the usage and differences, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of tips and tricks regarding the circle. Okay, so let's say you have a circle like this and you want to make it a specific size because right now it's 100 mils a diameter. That's a default. So if I were to measure the distance from here to here, it's 100 mil exact. But let's say you want to create a, not 100 mil, but let's say, I don't know, uh, 250. All you have to do is change the scale. You'll notice that the scale is set to 100 and the diameter is also 100. So let's say you want a 125 mil radius and 250 mil diameter circle. All you have to do is change this into 250 like this. However, you can use that or you can just go to the key point curve toolbox. Now this uh, set of tools allows you to create a perfect circle or not a perfect circle, um, circle based on dimension. So let's say you want to create a circle that is a specific uh, radius. It's a lot easier to do in this one. So with this one, all you have to do is create a circle and let's say you want a 75 mil radius a circle. All you have to do is go to information window, control shift, right mouse button, and you can get to this and change the arc as you wish. So as long as you don't do an extend like this, you, uh, well, actually I did a control, I think control Z might've done it. Okay, so as long as you don't uh, extend and break the circle, uh, you'll be able to change the radius anytime you want like this. And now let's go ahead and go over some of the usage differences between each circle. Now with the periodic circle, what you get is a perfect circle that has no end or the beginning. So Yes, uh, well, that said, however, um, I suggest that you don't use this a lot because right now it's not a perfect circle and you do have a lot of spans and data. So, But however, because the CV structure is very even all the way around, what you can do is create a very interesting shape. So let's say I grab all the other, every other CV and just scale it down like this. I can create something uh, like a star shape and you can use this to create some funky sculpture. So let's say I scale it up, um, copy and paste, scale up, and I'm just going to scale it down over here. And maybe for the last one, I'll scale it back up. I'm just going to delete all the, um, all the measurements and let's go ahead and use skin. I can just connect the dots like this, uh, holding down shift and you'll be able to create a shape like this. And it's very even all the way around. So this is, I would say, one of the uses that you can uh, have. But the problem is in most autom uh, most automotive applications and more, most product design, um, you rarely come across something like this. So that's why I suggest if you're going to create a circular object, uh, use a non-periodic circle. So let me just show you guys. Uh, actually, let me just hide these. So I'm going to just 
put them in a new layer and let's turn this on let's say you want to create a fillet what you can do is just uh well right now i think the rational flags are on so let me just turn them off say you want to create a pure let me just reset and it's going to be non-periodic and i usually for a non-periodic circle i like to do at least degree six because degree five is the radius is way too off so i'm going to do something like this and what you can do is use this in order to create well let's say you want to create something like a handle or some kind of grip or a hole you can use this in order to create a surface because it is a non-periodic circle. It's usually data is a very, uh, usually it's a single span and which allows you to do a lot of things very simply. So let's say you want to create a fillet between the, these two like this. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can just, because right now it's a snap to the center. You can just uh, do a scale. Uh, let's say you want to make an oval shape like this. You can just do this. And it's at least the base, I know the fillet's very heavy, but at least the base surface is a very clean. So this is something you can do. And let's say you want to, instead of doing this, you want to create a, a little bit, something a little bit, well, let's say you want to just create half. What you can do is you can just, well, first of all, turn that off and you can just extend this curve like this over here. Now, when you're doing this, you just got to make sure that the CVs are exactly lined up and it looks like it is on this side and on this side. And I'm just going to cut this surface in half. And I can just trim. And now what I can do is I can just put a fillet between these two. Oh, uh, I would say go the other way. And all you have to do is turn symmetry on. Actually, let's grab all these surfaces, turn symmetry on, and you will be able to get a curvature like this. And you're just gonna create half. And with this one, because it's still a circle or half circle, you can just uh, do a known proportional scale as much as you want, as long as the, um, the pivot is at the center of the grid. Okay, so that is, I would say in most applications, unless you're uh, cr needing to create a perfect circle or a wheel, um, I would say non-periodic circle with probably six degrees is uh, your best bet because it's going to give, probably give you the best result. Okay, so let me just put that in there and I'm, sure you, uh, I'm going to show you guys why we need to, if you're going to create a wheel or anything that requires a perfect circle to use rational flags. And the reason is, let's say I want to create a wheel like this. So I have I already pre-built a section. It's going to a very crude one. And I'm just going to do a revolve. It's going to five degrees like this. And I'm just going to go over each curve like that. And for the middle section, I'm just going to create a spoke like this. I'm going to grab this one on the end and I'm going to grab this curve and just project it from Y like this. And let's go ahead and trim over here and trim over here. Okay, and I'm going to connect the dots over here like this. Uh, there's a span in the middle, but I'm just going to ignore it for now. Okay, so now let's create a five spoke wheel based on this design. So I'm just going to grab a curve, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna rotate it 70, uh, not 72 degrees, but 36 degrees like that. And I'm just going to project so that I can trim this off. So I'm gonna trim here and here and let's just hide all the curves. And I'm just going to say group, delete the construction history, and let's duplicate it. So I'm going to say duplicate mirror, and I'm going to say it's YZ because of the, right now I'm doing it from the side view. And I'm going to group them again, and I'm going to duplicate object. And when you're doing this, so you want to make sure to exclude the original one. 
So even though it's a five spoke, I'm only creating four. And because I'm rotating about the Y axis, I'm just printing the second one. It's going to be 72 and say duplicate like this. And that looks good. Um, actually, we're missing surface over here. Well, but I don't think it really matters. So let's go ahead and check the surface. Okay, so right now, uh, because it's on perfect circle, I, there should be some kind of positional continuity issue over here. So let's check it. So I'm just going to check surface continuity. Okay, so you'll see that even though it's positional, which means it will stitch. However, if I turn this on, you see that this is actually not tangent. So even because it's on a perfect circle, yes, it will stitch because it's positional. Let's check. So I'm going to just turn stitch on. So you'll see that this is actually perfectly matching. I mean, never mind these because I don't know uh, there are whole actual holes. But if you look at all of these um, joining points over here, you'll see that they actually match. However, if you check closely, you'll see that this is actually off. It's not tangent or curvature, which means if I were to You'll see, oh, yeah, I wonder if you guys can see this, but there's a subtle break over the surfaces like this. Now, let's try the same thing. So I'm just going to delete these. I'm going to try the same thing with the rational flags on. So I wonder, oh, yeah, the curves are still there. Okay, so let me just go to preferences, construction options, and I'm going to turn rational flags on, and I'm going to go back to revolve. And let's just make it simple. Uh, two degrees should do it. And let's go ahead and do this again. If something for here, here, let's do that too. Okay, so I think all the surfaces are done. And I'm just going to grab, I'm going to grab these two. I'm going to project it using this curve from Y. And the rest, I can grab it, project using this. Okay, and let's go ahead and trim everything. And trim here, trim here, trim here. Trim here, and all of these. Like this and let's connect the dots over here and actually this time let's project this one too and now i'm going to trim over this and i'm going to hide all the curves okay so let's go ahead and group all these actually let's let me hide this curve group all these delete the construction history i'm just going to duplicate over to the other side group them again and let's go ahead and duplicate object. And I'm going to say duplicate over here. So now everything actually should be perfect. So not only should they be positional, they should also retain the curvature continuity and which it does. So that is why you use rational flags on, uh, curve with the rational flags on in order to create a perfect circle. All right, so those are the different types of circles and their usages. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.